Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about eBay and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently. And that is how do you leave a seller feedback on eBay? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to leave feedback for a seller on eBay? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you recently bought something on eBay and it was a great product at a good price. And the seller's asking for you to leave them feedback. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the eBay app. It's this colorful one with a white background. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my eBay app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my eBay app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to leave a seller feedback in your eBay account, first you need to click on my eBay. It's down here on the bottom left. It looks like a little person icon. Once you click there, you will see a drop down menu. And in order to leave a seller feedback, you need to go to the purchase by clicking on this line right here called purchases. Okay, once you click there, you will see your most recent purchases on eBay. So first you need to scroll through and find the purchase that you would like to leave the seller feedback on. If you wait too long to leave them feedback, this button will disappear. For example, this one, I did not leave the seller feedback, but you can see there is no button there. However, this is a recent purchase. So the leave feedback button is still there. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Okay. So here is where you can leave seller feedback on eBay. So you have a couple of different options. The first option is you can choose positive, neutral, or negative. If you had a good experience, go ahead and click on positive like me. If you leave negative, you can click there. Immediately when you click on negative, eBay asks you to contact the seller so that way they can try to make it right before you leave them a negative feedback. And you can also click on neutral. So let me click on positive. So here you can go ahead and type in something. Go ahead and type in something that's related to the item you purchased because that does help the seller with keyword search. So if somebody's searching for that particular product, they're more likely to show up in the list. Next, you can go ahead and rate the item. So this was five star. And then also you can rate the shipping time. If you leave a one star like so, it will reflect in their overall average as a seller on eBay. So I'm going to click five stars, five stars. So my feedback for the seller on eBay is complete. Let me go ahead and click on this blue leave fate. Let me go ahead and click on this blue leave feedback button. And a quick second later, I see this pop up saying, thank you for your feedback. And I'll click OK. And then it just brings me back here to my purchases screen. And as you can see, the leave feedback button has now disappeared. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to leave a seller feedback on eBay, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.